Hello and welcome to the Seismic Job Flow Editor or XSJE Globe Claritas tutorial. This tutorial is designed to give you an introduction on how to build, edit and run a seismic job within Globe Claritas. For this purpose, we start with a blank job. The editor itself can be found under the Flows tab of the launcher. We call the job demo.job and accept. Claritas jobs always contain the size job module as the first entry. This module contains project information as well as the transfer parameters. This normally does not need any editing. New modules can be added via the Add button on the right side of the editor. Modules are listed alphabetically or under General Categories. Claritas has more than 250 different processing modules. The first module we select is Read SegY to read in a SegY dataset. After selecting the module, the cursor changes its shape to pen. The pen can then be used to place the module in the right location within the flow. In this case, it is placed just after the size job module. The list button opens the file selection widget from where we navigate to the data directory and choose our SegY dataset. The SLI button provides a quick processing overview if available and the most important header information. The FCR button automatically fills out most of the mandatory header parameters. Now we want to add an AGC module into our flow after we've read the data. This time we do this by typing the command add, followed by the module name and the wanted line number in the command line. The parameter form for AGC only has two parameters and a few hidden ones that can be accessed under the more advanced parameters tab. But to display our data, we append the XView module to the end of the flow, this time by using the app command for append plus the module name. This module is already set up. For more information on how to use XView, please watch the XView tutorial. The job can be executed by pressing the Run button. Every job brings up a log file. Our one brings up additionally the display. In the log file, purple color indicates warnings and red color indicates errors within your flow. Furthermore, it gives a trace count as well as runtime information. It is always worth going through the log file to identify possible problems. Modules can be commented out to make them inactive. They can also be cut and pasted to change their positions in the flow. We will now remove the display module and replace it with a disk write module, which writes a Claritas extended SegWay format file to disk. We select the output file name, accept, and run the job. 